Hi, I'm Brianna. I'm Mike. And this is Goose. And welcome back to our sweet digs. But before you come in and see what we've done, subscribe below. All right, come on in. We live on the border of Clinton Hill and Fort Greene and we pay $2,325 a month. We've been here for three and a half years and the rent's only increased about 75 bucks in that time, which yeah. isn't too bad. A lot has changed since you guys have last been here. We've done a lot of DIY projects around the house to kind mm. of elevate our space. There's a lot of things that I wish were a little bit more updated. So we've tried to make it a bit more, what's the word I'm looking Less for? Less rough around the edges. Yeah, more elevated. And the best news is... We got a puppy. Named Goose. So this is our kitchen. When we first moved here, we painted the kitchen walls blue and swapped out the hardware. It looked 100% better, but we wanted to take that to the next level by getting rid of those ugly countertops that we had and doing something different with the backsplash. So we contact papered the countertops and it came out really nice, but we almost ended our six year relationship over it. <laughs> Pretty close. Contact paper your, uh, you know, your countertop. You just roll it on, it sticks, you're good to go. No. Not like that at all. You gotta cut it exactly the size, you stick it on, it's off a little bit here, then you gotta do it again. So I don't necessarily recommend it. I don't like the process, but the result is worth it, maybe. Maybe if you're single, do it alone, and then you have no one to blame but yourself. The backsplash in our kitchen right now is the, it's the last project that we have to do. We have a temporary backsplash up so we can kind of see how it would look if we were to contact paper it. I would love to paint over the tiles, but since we are in a rental, we can't do something that we can't put back at the end uh, when they we leave. They probably wouldn't even notice, to be honest, but. They probably wouldn't notice. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let us know in the comments what we should do to cover that up in a temporary way. Hmm. And this is the dog crate. The unit. That we're really proud of. We did not want a giant dog crate out in the house. We don't have a lot of space. I like to find a home for everything, <laughs> right? I knew that there'd be a reaction. So we wanted something to hide the dog crate, but something else that we lack in the kitchen is additional counter space and storage. So we decided to build a structure, for lack of a better word, where we could slide the crate in and then use additional counter space on top. So it's basically like a butcher's block, dog kennel. Apparently no one wants to chop vegetables on top of their dog other than us, so it doesn't exist. <laughs> and so then I kind of designed it and Mike built it. So having a new puppy is great. We've had her for two and a half weeks now and they have been a whirlwind. I think we're just fortunate that we can work from home. Sleep is not, sleep is a commodity for sure. Yeah, we haven't slept in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We started working home pretty early on, I think, mm. into the pandemic. Um, my birthday. Yeah, on your birthday, <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> so we painted an accent wall in the living room. I love, I love the color. I also um, like it. <laughs> just like? Love is, uh, I love you. Oh, yeah. that's, that's. I can't love a wall. <laughs> okay. So we painted an accent wall in the living room, which I think is really dramatic. I love it. And we put up some frames to put up photos of us, our loved ones, mm. our dog, and we haven't filled any of the photos in yet, except for one that your mom gave us from your <laughs> sister's wedding. We kind of just had that ready to go. I'm really excited for when we do fill our frames with things that mean something to us rather than these black and white generic photos that are currently in them. And then the bathroom. So the last time we did a sweet digs, I talked about how much I didn't like the bathroom. It doesn't have a window, so it kind of feels like a dungeon. It was just very black and white. I tried to introduce some color into it to lighten it up a bit, but we've kind of went all the way back and embraced the black and white. Mm -hmm. And we painted the vanity a nice gray color, put in a new bath mat and accessories, and I feel like it makes it very chic now. Very chic, indeed. <laughs> this is our bedroom. I have changed up my corner a bit. I used to have a floating shelf here that served as a desk and I never used it, not once. So I actually opened up our closet space by putting some of my stuff over here. Whatever I wear for the season, I just keep out here so it's nice and easy to grab. And this is my corner, which used to be a shelf that carried all my mail and crap that I didn't use. But now it's my workstation. We got some of my instruments for 
for breaks and fun things. So Mike's Corner has evolved into Mike's studio. The gear has moved from here to the studio. More space to work with. So we've updated our bedding after having the same comforter for the last six years. In my case, you've only had it for the last three years. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice to have something new and refreshed. It's from the Refinery29 Home Collection, and it's very cloud-like. Yeah, the, the old comforter was like really hot, and then I just, I need to be cold when I'm sleeping. So this one definitely is a little cooler at night. Gotta keep you off of it though, because it's white. And our outdoor space is still our favorite part of the apartment. It made a huge difference when we were quarantined here as well, to be able to go and sit outside. We were really grateful to have that space. Yes. We've been wanting a puppy for a really long time, mostly me, living in this world that we do now where it's all about kind of realizing like what's important and what you want most in life. Mm. We thought there's never gonna be a best time for anything like that. There's never a best time for more responsibility, a life change, and so we were just like, Let's go for it. Right. Um, and we're so happy, we love Goose. She's really good and smart and sweet, and she's a little crazy sometimes, but because she's a puppy. She's been pretty good. She slept through this whole interview, so that's good. Fingers crossed. She doesn't wake up before we're done. <laughs>